Hello, Doral. We're so glad you came in to see us today. Uh, you're welcome. Now, you do something that's very unique, and it's really cool. And what is that? Well, I have discovered a number of years ago that um, God's given me the ability to take an image from a photograph, download it, and make a three-dimensional piece of artwork. It is a... Um, a, an example of taking a barn wood and redeeming it and reclaiming it and making better use of it. So I have been making these three-dimensional barn, house, and mill plaques for probably five or eight years now. When you make these plaques, when you go and get the wood and all that, how do you make your template in order to make the house look like it does on there? Do you just freehand it or do you have a, a actual plan that you do, a process? Yeah, that, that's a good question, Debbie. Um, what I do is I, I, make, I take a photograph and I um, make a, a print of that to the size of the um, image that I want to make on the uh, framed or traditional plaque. I download it on my computer and then I take the photograph I'm giving away my secrets, but that's all right. <laughs> Not all of them. And uh, I cut off the um, sections of the building, barn, whatever. And then I, I, I glue that piece of uh, paper on plastic or cardboard. And then I uh, hunt for wood that will have the grain going in the correct direction. I glue that. Um, kind of, I put that on top of wood and then I, I cut that out with a, a bandsaw. And then basically I cut these pieces of the barn all, uh, on, from the template and then I kind of get wood and then I glue them together, kind of like a puzzle. But you have, that's your pattern to go by in order to make the shutters look the way they should and everything's to scale. So yeah. I think that's really neat the way you do that. Yeah, and what I, what I do is take the, um, the template and after I get it all assembled, I uh, mark where the windows are and where the doors are and cupola. And like the Shrewsbury House, you made an actual plaque for the Shrewsbury House. Yes. yes. And you made that to where you can tell that the windows are the same size that, that they are. It's just, it's all to scale, which I think is really neat. It's The shutters are what they should be and the, the chimneys and everything, so it's really, really cool. Yeah. The, the real neat thing about it, when people come and look at them, they are um, impressed with the detail work. And uh, I think that that adds a lot to uh, the piece of art. It, it really have. does. Would you consider this folk art, or is this some other type of art? Well, I don't really consider it folk art. No, you have a special... I guess I would call it unique three-dimensional handcrafted artwork by Scott County, Indiana artisan Doral Harrison. I don't know, that's a long description of it. <laughs> no, but that's, an, a, that's a perfect description. That is right on there, is what you, you're doing. And before you came to Scottsburg, you actually lived in New York, you were saying. Yes. And what did you do in New York? You actually did the same thing, but in a different way. A slightly different way. It was not with building, buildings as such, other than if you want, you know, it, they were covered bridges. Uh, I really lived near um, Vermont, and I taught school for, uh, in a public school for 33 years, and I had a photography business as part of my uh, part of my business uh, after I went to school during the year. But I started making covered bridges, and they were a lot different than the typical plaques that I make now. I have learned. And uh, I've got to the point where now it's, I'm pretty, it's pretty refined. Uh, I can do uh, covered bridges, buildings, things of that sort. There's on your plaques that you do, the ones that are framed in, there is a special little touch you put in those photos. You always put a crow in there. Why do you put that one little crow 
in the photo? Well, well, in the sculpture, why do yeah, you put that yeah. in there? In that piece of art on yes. the framed pieces, I put a either a, a crow or a bird, um, and, and and most of the time it re, I refer to it as a crow, a, a, a vulture. I put that in there in case the client inquires about it, and I say that, well, the framed plaque is very attractive, the sky is it's nice, beautiful. it's a nice setting, but a vulture reminds us that um, in this world there is a bad element, and uh, people like roadkill, in a sense, and all that bad stuff is there, but we right. don't want to accentuate the bad stuff necessarily. Right. Well, I thought it was neat the first time I asked you why there was one little crow in those pictures, and you told me because even though there's beauty all around us, there's carnage somewhere. Yes. And I think that's that is great to remember. You know, there, there's something not quite right somewhere. Yeah, and I've got to remember myself that there is stuff in my life that needs to be taken out. Yeah, that's just great. You have actually started uh, doing barns in Indiana, and you have a special display that you're taking around the state, that the state's actually having you do that. What is that that you're doing? Well, back in uh, when we had the bicentennial, right. um, I got a group of people that were interested in barns, and I came up with the idea of sponsoring a bicentennial barn project for the state. The committee decided that uh, there would be several phases. We had an online entry form that people could submit their barn and met certain guidelines. To see if it would be accepted in the tour, or to, or to be sculpted into the tour. Yeah, in, into uh, the contest. Right. Well, it was a contest. Right. So we had a committee that selected 10. We had over 200 entries online. Oh, wow. Uh, we were hoping to get uh, that many, you know, there are 90-some counties, I think, in Indiana. So we got a significant number of entries. We got a, a group together that I was not a part of that uh, selected 10 bicentennial barns. And uh, I, I donated a framed plaque for the 10 winners and we right. gave them away at the Indiana State Fair last year. I also made a duplicate set of the framed barn plaques and the last phase of this bicentennial barn project is where we take the 10 framed barn plaques and we put them on a traveling tour throughout the state. Currently they are uh, exhibited in Madison at the uh, Jefferson County uh, History Museum. We have a number on the exhibit there, and they will be there until the end of uh, June. From there, we'll be going to Elkhart, which is in the northern part of the state, and they will be on exhibit there for uh, two months. And then we have a kind of a two-month uh, lull, and in December, uh, I'm, I'm fortunate to have been asked to bring the uh, 10 barn plaques to Butler University at their art gallery, the Performing Arts Closed Art Center, I believe. And that's in Indianapolis, isn't yeah, it? Yes, it's so in Indianapolis. So we're going to be there until January 29th. And so the, the tours uh, at these places, the tours are open to the public. Um, to my knowledge, they're not going to cost anything, and people can continue to see some barn heritage uh, from Indiana. Right. You also, with, with all this tour that you're doing, you have to take care of all that. If someone wants a barn or a house that they have that they really love or their grandparents had at some point, if they talk really nice to you, <laughs> <laughs> they, can, they can get you to actually sculpt their Yes. House I, or barn. Yeah, I can handcraft it. Uh, all I need is a photograph. We do uh, buildings uh, of all sort, if it's a good image, even if it's not currently up. Right. And uh, it takes usually a couple of weeks turnaround time for the framed ones. Uh, the client gets their choice of a uh, season. 
So if they have a winter season, fall season, spring, we can do that. Oh my goodness. One of them you brought down, I think um, it's actually in my other office. It has a little fence around it and there's uh, either an alpaca or a I think it's an alpaca is sitting yes, in there yes. that you've actually sculpted and made it to where it has the fence and everything to scale. So they you can custom just about anything. Yes, if people uh, request animals, then we can sometimes put those in depending on how, how fine they are. But um, the detail part of it is the thing that highlights the uniqueness of it. We also put the story about the barn or the building on the back of the plaque. And the client usually tells us some of the great memories they have of their experiences in this barn or this building. Right. And that's part of uh, what keeps their uh, memories alive. They can look at that. And uh, we download another separate copy of that particular story and give that to them also. How long will your display be in Madison, Indiana at the uh, History Center downtown? The uh, exhibit that we have there has been started in um, May mm -hmm. and it goes to the end of June. So they've got a few weeks that they can still get down there and see yes. the artwork. Yes. Yep. Well that is awesome. So we'll, we are just really glad that you came to see us today and we're hoping that people will, will go by and visit and check it out. and. Well, I, okay. I really appreciate the opportunity to, to talk a little bit about what I do. It's something that um, I've been blessed with, and uh, I like barns, and I like the state of Indiana better than upstate New York. So <laughs> Shh, we won't good. tell everybody. All right. All right. We won't tell upstate New York that, but we're glad that you like it here better. We're glad you're here. Yeah. Thank we're you. We're so glad. But uh, yeah, we'll try to make sure if people want this in some way, how can they get in contact with you? Well, the literature at the um, traveling tour will be there. Right. But they can access us online. Uh, they can Google my name. They can also go to our website, www.barnmillplaques.com, and they should be able to get in touch. We have a Facebook Right. Also, so. Awesome. Well, we'll try to make sure we put that underneath where they can, they right. can see it and, and find you. Awesome. I'm sure you're going to get some requests for things. I just think it's cool what you do. So oh, thank you very much. Well, thank you again for being here. So, and as for you all, thanks so much for watching.